Hello guys, welcome to another episode of the Humans of Red. I am Tommy and with me I have a totally amazing person. I'm talking about the executive director of the Future Project and an all-round person. Just meet her. Hi, Miss Mufon. Hi, Tommy. <laughs> She's blushing. This is how she gets. Okay, so um, we hear about the Future Awards, that gala nights, all that work. How do you cope? What's your driving force? How do I cope? I braid my hair to cover up the lost hair um, and then I have an amazing team. I have an amazing team on ground um, in the future project and also an amazing team of volunteers. So they're like the soldiers that actually put the things together. Uh, kind of look like soldier ants when they're doing it. We've seen how soldier ants put together this humongous kind of mountain. That's, that's what happens. Yeah. That takes me to my next question. But before then, let's talk about your love for coffee. <laughs> okay, this is a setup. <laughs> what about my love for coffee do you want to know? <laughs> well, everybody lo- loves their coffee in different ways. So we want to know how you love your coffee. First off, it must be scalding hot. I don't understand how people let their coffee just sit. Uh, no. If it hasn't burnt my tongue, then it's not coffee. Full stop. I don't know how you do it. Ha- your intestines need to know something is going down. <laughs> you know, so yeah. So I love my coffee hot. I don't really like, you know, like strong coffee, but I love coffee. Like, I seriously love coffee. This is a, it's a habit. So now you believe I've done my background check. She has. She has. Okay, so my next question that I mentioned earlier. Yeah. Now, this has to do, I heard that you have an amazing management skill. Wow, what do you agree? Who told you that? Background checks. Oh, come on. <laughs> Give me a hint. What kind of management skill did they tell you? Let me blush. No. <laughs> and then again, you have this... There's, I hear a motivational speaker, but how do you stand in front of a crowd to infuse values into them? Don't you get jittery? Don't you think all oh, these people are looking at me in some kind of way? Uh, well, it's the more you do it, the more you're used to doing it. And then if you do something that people come back to you to tell you they got value from, it, it first of all makes it worth it. Second of all, kind of takes the jitters away. It never fully goes. Anybody that tells you that jitters fully goes, I, I want to sit down and talk to that person, have a conversation to know their secret, the secret sauce. But uh, I'm I'm confident when I'm speaking that I'm adding value because I have put in the work to prepare for that. Um, so that when I'm not prepared is when I'm most shaky. So I've learned not to not prepare. I actually learned something in that you have to prepare in order not to be shaky. So, Miss Mfon, we're getting to a part I love. I also hear you give amazing hugs. And today is Monday. <laughs> I need inspiration and motivation for the entire week. I'll come back on Monday. It's kind of so, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay, please, when I get a hug. This is so, uh, is this supposed to be like a serious? <laughs> Thank you. You made my. Is there like a queue of people who want hugs? Like, oh, the editor, the photographer. Yes, we want oh, hugs every Monday. But guy. please grant us a request when we come for hugs every Monday, me especially. I'm, I'm so, I mean, guy, guys get to pay like about ten thousand per pop. Well, <laughs> let's see. I've become your daughter, so I don't need to pay for that. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. I hope you had fun, because trust me, I did, because this is the first time I'm meeting her, and I'm, I'm in awe already. But let's keep it still in the box. See you later. Bye.